What's going on folks? Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tech, but today I want to be checking out the AC1300 unit. This is the TP-Link. The AC1300 is definitely really popular. This is version T4U. We'll open her up. Looks like we got a bit of a flip. The AC, of course, meaning that we can get Wi-Fi 5 off this unit, but not Wi-Fi 6. Really though, Wi-Fi 5 is great. There's not really a big need to jump up to Wi-Fi 6 just yet. Oh, that's interesting. They actually give you the CD. They don't always do that anymore. So here we have the unit itself. And with the little flip, we get a little antenna action coming up there. Good stuff, good stuff. That's what I'm talking about, Bobby. I'll tell you what, Bobby. So yeah, this is definitely the first USB stick that I ever had that looks like a flip phone. But yeah, next up, let's see what kind of uh, bandwidth we can pull down on this sucker, shall we? So once again, here we have the battle station on the right and my Alexandrian backup on the left. That's where I keep all my server stuff. So you can see that I got the card plugged in at the top trust me it's line of sight to a wi-fi 6 d-link router and i'm going to be doing a transfer from that system on the left to the system on the right this is local area network line of sight with wi-fi and the uh the computer is directly connected to the router so let's see the top speed that we can actually expect to get with these all right so that's about 25 megabytes a second i am pretty happy with that i gotta say for the price we paid for this not bad at all that's uh that's about pretty standard of what you would expect to get on the high end of any consumer level electronic AC. That's standard consumer level. You'd have to be paying about 400 bucks in order to be able to get uh, a router to help you pull off much more speed than this. So what I'm saying is the problem normally is that your router is where the bottleneck is. And that's definitely the case here. This unit is not causing the bottleneck uh, the router would. And it's a pretty good speed to begin with. So it became pretty clear to me that uh, the model number of this was quite familiar. And I have another one, another, another AC1300, and it is the T3U. And I thought, you know, I think we should compare these things. So there definitely does seem to be a bit of a difference in the speed. When I was transferring the same file over the same network under the same settings, it was bobbing up and down as low as, uh, well, 10 to as high as 25. This one, on the other hand, had a constant stream of just 25, and I didn't have any problem with it at all. This particular unit was teeny, teeny, tiny compared to the one I'm working with right now. I'm going to be tearing this new one apart, you'll see. Next up, just for testing purposes, I want to compare it to this older TP-Link N150. Now, uh, that 150, that's Wi-Fi 4, so it's definitely not the fastest. Wi-Fi 4 is about as low as I'll go. I definitely won't go with G brand. Now, the sick and funny thing about uh, N or Wi-Fi 6 is it's about as fast as my internet caps out anyways, which is a bit sad, but still, I'm doing better than what a lot of people are doing. I'm definitely a firm believer in the idea that you need to have a Wi-Fi USB that has an antenna on it, especially if you are in uh, a place that gets a lot of air pollution, uh, noise pollution, electromagnetic field pollution man sometimes if you put a, a wireless card right up next to a usb3 and transfer the <laughs> you just won't get any wi-fi i've had the same problem with uh, wireless keyboards before too it's crazy so of course i had to crack it open because you know me anyways it looks like we got a real tech chip in there no uh no heat shielding on this side interesting here's what we got on the other side i'm really surprised we don't have a heat shield on this thing oh well all right looking good yeah she comes up in the drivers as a tp link wireless but uh i'm pretty sure that uh that was the real tech logo on it all right folks well that's it for me and that from nav's tech bits hit that like button if i helped you out here and uh have a good one folks